Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can set up a member-only website on Joomla. Now, this is only gonna be a very quick tutorial and it's gonna show you the basics of how you can set up a user and create a login page and a member-only dashboard onto any site. So for the example of this, we are gonna be using my main site, which is built on Joomla 5. All right, welcome to my website. This is brettransley.com. Um, there is a link in the description if you do wanna check it out. Uh, basically, this is just my main site built on Joomla 5. Uh, it's just pretty much introduction to me, my businesses and services that I offer. So what we're gonna be doing here is building the application on there. All right, so there's gonna be three parts to this. We're gonna one, we're gonna to have to make a page. Now this is going to be a page that we're gonna to want to be only for members. We have to set up a menu item in which the group that the user is attached to can view the page. We will also need to set up a login page to do it. All right, so first step is we're gonna go in and create a new article. So this can just be any old article. We're gonna call it members for members only. We'll add a little bit of content here saying members content section. And we can save and close that. And now we're on to our second step. So we're gonna go into menus. Now on our main menu, obviously you can see all the items we have. This is basically the same as what you're gonna see in here because this is the menu we have assigned to this kind of position. So what we're gonna to want to do is create a new menu item. Now we're gonna call this members. The next thing you're going to do is select a single article. And we're gonna select the members article that we just published. Down here is we're gonna go change the access and we're gonna go put registered. So when we save this, you can see that it's actually not gonna be visible there. And the reason for that is because on the front end of the site, we're not actually logged in to any user group. We can go create another page as a login. So what you're gonna to want to do here is use the users thing and create a login form. Now, this we're gonna call login uh, we can leave the alias and basically what we're gonna do is put a menu item redirect to the members page and then we're just gonna simply hit save and close. This should then refresh the data and as you can see here we now have our login on the front end. So if we click on login we can then log in to the account we choose uh, and click sign in. Now this has automatically taken us across to the members content section. As you can see, here's a bit of text that we started out with. Um, if you go into our menu, you can now see that the men members thing has appeared. Uh, what we can do then on a next step is create the logout form. What you can do here is on your login button, generally you should set this to guest. So that means it's only gonna apply when a guest is there. And then you can create a new menu item under the users called a logout, which is a logout button. And we're gonna set this to only be seen by registered people. As you can see here, I've just selected registered. You can see that our login button's now gone and now we have a log out button, which means when we click on our log out, we're gonna head back to the home page, and our members section is gone. So that pretty much does it. It is very easy off the bat to be able to separate content in Joomla based off a user group. You can create multiple user groups, and if you guys do want a video on that, just comment down below and I'll explain to you how you can create your own custom user groups and what you can do with them. I would also like to note that this option is available in essentially every single thing in Joomla. So if we come back here very quickly, you can see that 
under your content site modules everything in here should have the access drop down which basically means that you can have certain modules only appear for certain people so it can be an extremely handy very useful thing especially if you um, split people out into subscription groups and you only want them to view certain things this can also be done with modules or with articles so under your articles here we have um, under my resources we have all of our youtube videos which automatically pull through to our joomla website so if you see here we've got the top five contact forms and we can actually go into this one and change the access to registered so it shouldn't affect the entire page but it will affect the item that's there to begin with so again once we go log in again log into the front end of our website and we go back to our resources you can see it appears because we've made that a members only or a user only article i hope that helped you understand how you can use joomla to separate different parts of your website to create a powerful user first platform that multiple subscriptions can go to have access to different items it can be used on the menus it can be used on the articles it can be used on basically anything in Joomla which makes it a really cool really powerful tool hey if you want to learn more about web technology Joomla WordPress cPanel any type of web tech including hosting support anything to help your business edit your website then what you should do is subscribe to the channel and if you need help with anything go to my website that you'll see on screen at the moment revivedigital.co.nz uh, or you can just type revive.digital into your browser go to my website send me an email and i'll be happy to help you with any queries you have involving your website thank you so much for watching this video thank you to everybody who subscribes and supports the channel it means a lot and i will have more content to you coming very soon